when I was younger, one of my favorite things to do was watching cartoons, specifically Cartoon Network. When it came to cartoons that I enjoyed, most of them came from the Cartoon Network network. And the thing was, when I was younger, my family didn't have a whole lot of money, so we didn't really go out a whole lot. And since my parents were always working, all I could really do was watch TV. And I would say if you were born around 1990 to 2005, cartoons definitely molded you the way you are now. Either the way you act or what you find funny. But since Cartoon Network had some of my favorite shows of all time, so I thought why not do a tier list? This tier list has basically every Cartoon Network show and I'm gonna rank every single one of them basically based off of memory. And if you enjoy this kind of content then make sure to like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 250,000 subscribers before the end of 2024. I'm gonna go through a lot of these pretty quickly unless there's shows that I really really loved. So for example, Two Stupid Dogs I never watched. I'll be honest not even the character designs even seem remotely familiar. I think I should also point out that I was born in 2000 and I didn't start watching cartoons until I was like eight years old. So from around 2006 to 2012 was when I was mainly watching a lot of cartoons. However, this next one, 16, this bad boy is going all the way to A. I'll be honest, the show itself wasn't that great. However, the theme song to this show was an absolute banger. I'm pretty sure the same studio that made Total Drama Island also made this show. A pup named Scooby-Doo. I've never watch this. Adventure Time. This show is very unique to me because this show and two other shows that I've watched as an adult. Adventure Time was one of the shows that I decided to re-watch as an adult and oh my god. This is one of those shows that you need to watch when you're older to understand a lot of the story and the underlining meanings because if this was 12 year old me ranking this tier list I'd probably put it in C maybe B but now that I've watched it as an older adult Adult, this is S tier. Now I know a lot of you would have probably put in this show at S tier anyway, but again, watching it as an adult changed my whole perspective on Adventure Time. From the intro song to Jake singing that one song about making pancakes, this show is iconic. Almost Naked Animals. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna put this at D. I remember this show, even as a kid, I remember this show being super hard to watch. And you gotta imagine how difficult that is to make a kid feel uncomfortable while watching your show. Typically kids will watch anything. Every animal had no hair and they were almost naked. That's it. It was just so weird. I didn't like it. The Amazing World of Gumball is one of the other shows that I rewatched as an adult. And holy shit, is this show the funniest thing ever. I'll give Adventure Time the one up when it comes to actual story, but when it comes to just wanting to watch an entertaining show and turning off your brain, The Amazing World of Gumball is perfect. I'm gonna put Gumball above Adventure Time. I do believe Gumball is just a better overall show. Apple and Onion, never watched. And from looking at the art style alone, it looks Looks pretty mid. Atomic Betty? Never watched. Baby Looney Tunes? I'm gonna put it in C. It was just, uh, it was meh. Batman Beyond? I never watched. I'll be honest, I'm not really a fan of superheroes like DC and Marvel. I do remember liking Batman Brave and the Bold. I remember liking the intro and just overall, I remember liking the show. Now we're getting to a heavy hitter here. Ben 10 is S tier. I'm gonna be completely honest. And if you wanna say this is all nostalgia go ahead Ben 10 right now is my number one Cartoon Network show besides maybe one more look in all fairness any show I put in S tier can be can be considered the best show of Cartoon Network it's really all based on what you like but the original Ben 10 I just remember loving it as a kid the thing that I remember the most actually wasn't even the show I remember owning like an Omnitrix watch and my nerdy kid ass would wear that watch wherever I went. I mean, it's pretty obvious why I didn't have friends as a kid. The other thing that I remember most about this show, again, wasn't even the show itself. I used to own a Ben 10 video game. I can't remember the exact one, but I'll put it up on the screen right here. I remember owning that game for the PS2 and playing it all the time at my grandma's house because, again, my parents were always working. So I used to play this all the time. Oh, fuck. Sorry, I'm getting a little emotional. 
I'm sorry. Seeing a lot of these shows really brings back memories. It makes me feel so old, man. Also, I don't know if any of you remember, but they made like a live action Ben 10 movie. It was awful. As a kid, I still loved it because it was live action Ben 10. I know this is gonna sound weird, but I'm gonna put the next two in the same category. Honestly, I'm gonna put in mediocre. And for these two other Ben 10 shows are going right in the trash. Just imagine they're in D tier, okay? I haven't watched them, but I know they're bad. Another Batman show I never watched, Camp Laszlo, has to be in like B or A tier. I mean, it has to be A tier, right? I'd say Camp Laszlo was better. If I was just ranking the intro of these shows, 16 would be the best show by far. I never watched this show. What the hell is this? Chop Saki Chooks? Is that a slur? No, I never watched it. Here is the other show that I've watched as an adult. Chowder by far is my favorite Cartoon Network show and it's not even close. I'm sure you could put two and two together. When I was a kid, I was a fat nobody. Nobody was friends with me. I always resonated the most with Chowder because he was chubby. He loved to eat food. But watching Chowder now as an adult, the comedy of this show is second to none. Also, by the way, I didn't know this until I was like 18, 19 years old. I never knew the characters were named after a food. I never watched Clarence. No idea what this show is. Wait, what? There was a Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs TV show on Cartoon Network? I did not watch it. We have some heavy hitters up next. Code Lyoko was an S tier show. Code Lyoko just had a specific charm to it. If I can be honest, this ranking is being highly determined on my nostalgia and memory of the show. It was pretty much Sword Art Online before Sword Art Online became a thing and you know, made for kids. I'm not delusional to the point where I'll put it above a show like Adventure Time and Gumball, Ben 10, Chowder, but Code Lyoko has to at least stay in S tier simply because how much I loved it. Also, this show probably has the second best intro song. I actually have the intro song on my Spotify. Codename Kids Next Door. I never liked Codename Kids Next Door. I never liked this show. Younger me never cared about it. I hated the art design and I still do now. Courage the Cowardly Dog. This bad boy will sit on top of A tier. Now some of you are like CAJ. How is that not an S tier show? I honestly just don't have a good explanation. I remember loving this show when I was a kid, but I don't remember loving, loving it. Like the same way how I love these shows up here. Cow and Chicken, I do remember watching. I do not remember liking it at all. I think it has something to do with the characters' designs. I think they just looked ugly to me. No idea what this show is. Never watched this one. No idea what this is. Dexter's Laboratory. I never watched this show. I I've seen clips of the show. I've seen way too many clips of Dexter's mom. Oh yeah, this. Yeah, let's put this at bad. Duck Dodger, I know it's a classic, but I never watched it. Mwah. Get your ass up there. I'd probably put this third. This is actually kind of funny because I actually do remember watching this show. I do remember this show being made by the same people who made The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Even if you didn't know, you could just tell by the art style itself. But yeah, this show was pretty bad. Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. It's one one of those shows that was always overshadowed by shows like Ben 10, like Ed, Ned, and Eddie. You know what? I'm going to put Camp Laszlo in B. The more I think about it, Camp Laszlo was kind of in. Eh. Okay, so I know this next one will ruffle some feathers. Okay, okay, okay. I won't put it at S tier, but I for damn sure is gonna put it in A tier. And I'm gonna put it at the top of A tier. Now, some of you have already clicked off this video once I did that. And if you're still here watching, thank you. Yes, the animation was pretty terrible. It gave it that unique look. If you look at comics of old Garfield, I do believe this show kept the image of the comics. Also, I remember a bunch of movies also spawning off of this show. Never watched this show. I actually do remember watching this show. I'm gonna gonna put it in mediocre. Green Lantern never watched. Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. A tier. I do believe when it comes to character chemistry, Billy, Grim, and Mandy had some of the best character chemistry in any show, in any show from Cartoon Network. Uh, never watch that. Never watch that. What the hell is this? Never watch that. Never watch this. Never watch that. Johnny Bravo. I'm gonna break my own rule for a second. I never watched Johnny Bravo. However, I am gonna put 
this at good. Hell, I'm gonna put it at the top of B tier. I've seen so many clips of this show and every time I watch a clip from this show, I am laughing my ass off. Screw it, I'm just gonna go through all the shows that I've never watched, just to get out of the way. All right, so just to make things easier, these are the shows that I never watched, okay? From Johnny Test to Hero 108, I will be ranking. The rest I just never watched. Speaking of which, Johnny Test is great. Honestly, the characters are what made this show amazing. If any of you remember Bling Bling Boy, you are an OG. Now, what's stopping me from putting this at S tier is all the goddamn whip sound effects. The Looney Tune Show, S tier. I'm gonna put it above Gumball. Mad. I remember liking Mad. I put it around here. Mad was special in the sense that it didn't really have episodes. The Misadventures of Flapjack. Great. I freaking hate that this show is slept on. Most of my friends don't even remember this show. <laughs> oh, good God. I do remember liking it, so I have to put it in good. Ninjago. It was okay. It was good. Regular show. This show when I was a kid was S tier. Now as an adult, S S tier. Skunk Fu, mediocre. Star Wars The Clone Wars, I do remember liking this show. Middle of B. Even Universe, I'd say it's at the bottom of great. This is gonna be very controversial. I'm gonna rank both Teen Titans Go and the original Teen Titans at the same time, okay? And I know some of you are not gonna like this. Relax, okay? Calm down. Total Drama Island. Never really cared for it. Uncle Grandpa. Another mediocre show. What's new Scooby-Doo? We're gonna put this bitch in A tier. What's new Scooby-Doo? We're coming after you. We're gonna solve that mystery. Oh, right. That Krillin motherfucker. Bottom of mediocre. <sighs> If I'm going based off of memory and how much I enjoyed it as a kid, I'm putting you at the bottom of A. Because in all fairness, when I was a kid, I used to love this show. And last but not least, Hero 108. It was pretty good. I already know people are not going to like the fact that I put Code Lyoko in S tier. If someone were to tell me it wasn't S tier, I wouldn't argue with them. But it's my personal S tier. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good rest of your day.